Okay, people, welcome back to another Mace Reviews episode. Today, we'll be going over the large herbivore dinosaurs that I own. I'll be showing you and reviewing them. We'll be doing this, it's a, this is going to be a three-part series, this will be a four-part series, sorry, where it will consist of sm uh, small to medium-sized herbivores, which I did in the last episode, large herbivores, which we're covering today, carnivore, medium to small-sized carnivores, and large carnivores will be the last one. So, this one will be my two sauropods that I own. It'll be quite a sh short episode. This first is the Legacy Collection Apatosaurus. I will be kind of treating this review as a checklist in a way, like I did the lap last episode, where it's paint, articulation, and playability. So, this one, as you can see, quite a cool looking guy right there. Focus, focus, focus. So, there we go. And quite good paint. I would do so for myself. Very simple. Sadly, no painted toenails. That's the usual with Mattel. And articulation, quite decent. It'll move all the legs. It'll move the tail. Be able to twist around the neck. Well, if I can get that to show for you guys, I'll have to sit you guys down right here. So I will try to move it. Okay. Okay, I'll just... <sighs> just so you know, the duck does move. Oh, focus, dang. There we go, that's a little better. So, yeah. That was the Legacy Collection Patasaur. And, yes, it, uh, I feel like this would meet all the checklists for, for somebody. It would probably supply with quite a bit of fun for almost anybody who's a Jurassic fan. The articulation... Minimalistic, get good. Playability, the only reason you want it is to have a big lumbering Donna. So, the second one I'll have to set you guys down for real quick. I'll pick you guys back up once I get him in here. He's big. Great. Here, oh, almost knocked over my ring light. Is the is the Dominion Dreadnoughtus the newest addition to of the sauropod line of the large sauropod line? So once again, we'll be covering articulation and playability and paint. Paint much better on this one than the little Patasaur over there. You can get a little glimpse of him over there. It is. White, oh, so I'm about to zoom in. There we go, a little bit so it does, you guys are able to see it more. Let's just zoom in at the pretty put people right there. There we go, that's cool, right? Yep. Okay. So, oh wait, if you, got, if you guys want to put in the comments if you'd want me to scan these dinosaurs that I show and also give you guys the code so you're able to scan them. Put the put that in the comments. So articulation a little better, a little bit better than the apatosaur over there. Has one articulation point right here. Can't get, these are very heavy joints. There we go. That moves also. Its head goes. Its neck goes up and down, but that joint is built different. Gosh. And then over here is the tail. The tail twists. And each and every one of the legs twists. So, paint, good. Play articulation, a little bit better than the Patasaur over there. And playability, good. Same thing I said with that one. The only reason, it, the only reason somebody would want to get it is to have a really cool big lumbering dino. So, see you next time in the next video. Yeah. <laughs>